Greetings, Noose Little Pod listeners. This is your host, Matt Gore, reminding you to please like, follow, subscribe, and share the podcast on your available podcast apps such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and any other podcast app you can think of. Share our episodes on Facebook and let us know what you think with a comment or review. Now please enjoy the show. Good evening and welcome to Noose Little Podcast. This is an audio program talking about the backstage antics and stories of running a small town community theater on the banks of the Noose River located in Smithfield, North Carolina. We lovingly refer to the old girl as The Hut. We hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome to Noose Little Podcast. We have an extra special, extra short episode of the program for you today. This is an announcement that a lot of you have been waiting for. We are here. We have it. The rights have been paid, the scripts have been purchased. We have hot off the presses, the 50th anniversary season for Noose Little Theater, and we are very excited. Uh, Mita's going to briefly tell us about the, little, the process here. But first, we have to give a shout out to our show that is about to go up, and that is Unnecessary Farce. And it is going to open up April 5th, April 6th, and April 7th, and then the following uh Weekend that Friday and Saturday, so that would be April 12th and April 13th. All right, but before we announce the 50th season, we're going to make you wait just a a couple of minutes longer while we uh, also give a shout out to our new merch. We have merch at NLT, everybody. Uh, This is something that's been talked about for a while, but we finally have it. We have some items that are exclusive to the 50th anniversary, and we have some items that are just NLT generic, like the hat. The hat is a, uh, uh, I got one for myself, and uh, Steven got one. They're $25. You can pick them up at, all items, by the way, can be picked up at the uh, box office when you come to see the show. They'll be up online. Eventually. Eventually. Um, we have blankets for sale. Blankets. They're... In case you get kind of uh, cold during the show. <laughs> We're getting away from when that would be possible, but they fold up and they zip up in a little carrying case. It's all attached. It's got our logo on the front. So... We got phone ring stands. This is the things you uh, hook on the uh, your finger for your, the back of your phone, so you won't drop it on your face when you're reading it at night, when you probably should be see, uh, sleeping instead of doom scrolling. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we have more stuff coming in, such as uh, hoodies and stuff like that. But that uh, stuff will be coming out of line. Again, you can get any of this uh, uh, this merch when you come to see the show at NLT, and there's going to be a little table, and you can buy whatever you want. Please do. Okay. We have auditions coming up for Angel Street, which is going to be on April 8th and April 9th. And that's yep. a Monday and a Tuesday. So come on out. And this is kind of a, uh, it's set in the uh, England and in the 1890s. And it's kind of a, a dark drama, but it's also, it's a classic. I, I think you kind of call it a thriller. Because yeah. it's, it's um, the whole premise of it is... It's a married couple. She's much younger than the man. And she is having these bouts of... Mania. Mania. And he's trying to be very patient with mm. her. and But she keeps taking pictures off the wall and hiding them and hiding the bills from him and won't, doesn't know where it goes. And she claims she doesn't know what happened to him. And he gets very angry. And and it's it, there's some suspicion of perhaps he's the one causing the... the Mm, he's a narrative which well, is where the the movie maybe the better title most people know the movie better it's called gaslight yes which is where you get the term gaslighting oh what are you talking about so it's actually <laughs> gaslight yes quit angel streeting me bro <laughs> quit quit angel streeting me over here <laughs> okay uh but that's directed by patsy castellano please come on out uh for this hitchcockian thriller it's going to be three women uh three women and two men right so you've got five characters. You've got the um, husband who is, he's supposed to be very um, charismatic, kind of get along kind of guy. You're supposed to uh, trust him, basically, I guess is the term. Mm-hmm. And then you've got the woman who's supposed to be very much on the edge of a nervous breakdown. Like she's teetering on the edge of, of you know, of sanity kind of a thing. Then you have the the maid who is an older woman who sees sort of what's going on. You've got the young maid who is probably going to be about 18, 19, 20 years old. And she's got a thing for the master of the house. Um, and it's not subtle the way they talk to one another kind of mm-hmm. a thing. And then you have the inspector who comes to talk with the the wife about what he thinks the, the, the husband is doing. And he is 
quite the character. He's like the Victorian version of like Columbo. Yeah. So. Yeah. Th- that's what I was. I, I had heard that reference before. And that's one thing that piqued my interest when I was like, oh, that's interesting. Because Columbo's coming back into fashion now. Uh. The uh, <laughs> Not the whodunit, but the are they going to get away with it is really yeah. coming back that's, into fashion. That's kind of what this is about. I mean, I don't want to give too much away. That's sort of why I'm trying to be very vague. But um, you, you, you learn very quickly who you can and can't trust in it. But you're trying to figure out whether they're going to be able to to bring him to justice kind right. of a thing. Okay, so please come on out for this Hitchcockian thriller directed by Patsy Castellano on April 8th and April 9th here at The Hut. Okay, Mita, speaking of teetering on the edge of insanity, <laughs> do you feel somewhat relieved now that the 50th season is, is, is locked down and this is what we're doing, no going back? How do you feel? I, I feel better because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad it's done because it was such a... Well, I mean, we we wanted to make it big. We wanted something big for the 50th. But we have to... There's so many moving pieces involved. And we wanted to make sure the membership felt like they were involved. And we sort of, in, in true everyday theater fashion, we're like, okay, so we got time. We've got time. Oh, crap, we don't have time. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so I'm just glad, you know, all the pieces are in place and contracts are signed, dates are set. Um, we're still working on, you know, directors and audition dates and stuff like that. But we do know what dates we're doing the shows and we do know what shows we're doing and all of that. Money's been spent. Scripts have been bought. Okay. Um, so briefly go into, because we're running against the clock here, um, because people want to know what the shows are, and we're <laughs> running against a rehearsal that's about to start. Briefly go into the membership, how they voted and all that. Um, we knew we wanted to revisit some of the favorites from all 50 years. We decided to sort of decide the musical because we wanted to have control over what we were going to do. Plus, we knew we needed to do something because we wanted to go out to the college on a much bigger stage, that sort of thing. So we picked the musical and then we decided we have narrowed it down to four shows per decade mm-hmm. and we let the membership vote from there. And it was a very interesting <laughs> turnout. Honestly, it, it was fairly predictable what we were mm-hmm. going to get because three of the five shows we've done twice before. Right. So they're fan favorites. Well, they're, yeah, they're all fan favorites. So with that said, let's get right into it. You mentioned uh, Johnston Community College, this first show, the opening of the season premiere show of the 50th season of News Little Theater will be at Johnston Community College, and it will be The Wizard of Oz. So I'm sure a lot of you are pleased by this news. I'm sure a lot of you figured it out with the little teaser you said you sent up <laughs> yesterday. I'm sure even you've heard it uh, whispered about the uh, in the edges of the hut sometimes, but we're doing the Wizard of Oz. It's going to be on September 27th, 28th, and 29th at Johnston Community College. This is the first time we've gone out there in about 11 years. I think the last time we went out uh, there was 2013. 2013 for Music Man. That's correct. All right, so we're all very excited about that. Okay, next up is an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> this is uh, another type of, uh, uh, it, I want to say Hitchcockian, but also it's kind of a, a funny comedy as well. Oh, it's a comedy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Arsenic and Old Lace. Um, that is going to be on the stage here at the hut and that's November 15th, 16th, 17th and the 22nd and 23rd. So yeah. And if anybody doesn't know what it is, it's two old ladies who take it upon themselves to help older lonely men by poisoning them and burying Mm -hmm. them in the basement. That's correct. (laughs) Correct. It's, it it is a community theater stalwart. (laughs) if, If you, are us. If you have done community theater for more than 20 years, you have done oh, Arsenic and Old Lace. Absolutely. All right. Um, now we have coming up another classic here. This is a comedy by Larry Shu. This is called The Foreigner. Yep. Now that is a comedy involving a, a case where someone British comes into this country place and... You have a, a British fella who's a military uh, munitions officer and he comes and like regularly to train the 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 military in the Appalachia Mountains of mm-hmm. of Georgia, and this time he brings his friend with him. His name is friend's name is Charlie because Charlie's going through a, a heartbreak, and Charlie doesn't want to be social. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. He doesn't want to do anything. So this guy tells everybody at the lodge that he frequents that Charlie doesn't speak English and mm-hmm. that don't talk to him, don't mess with him. He just he'll just do his thing, just leave him alone. And Charlie, once he leaves to go do his military training, 
Charlie here overhears a lot of things Charlie shouldn't overhear because mm-hmm. people don't think he understands English, and he helps. He has to help thwart a coup to take over the lodge by the local uh, bad guys. Gotcha. So a lot of be a lot of fun to be had in that show, and that's going to go up February fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, twenty first, and twenty second. Lots of laughs in this season, and we're going to keep the laughs going as well as a few tears with the. Other community theater stalwart, Steel Max. No, I'm just kidding. Steel Magnolias. Steel Magnolias. It's the closest thing we have to a drama. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would say with, with the last one coming up here, I would say so. Yeah, this is this is our drama. This is our hard hitter. Um, but no, it, uh, Steel Magnolias. You've all seen it. I grew up with this movie. It's about uh, a group of women who uh, meet at a Trudy's beauty shop, and they have uh, you get to see I think four different snapshots of their life. And I, I think it's three. Three, but yeah. Um, it's Shelby's getting married, mm-hmm. and Shelby, Shelby needs a kidney. He needs a kidney. And and Shelby's and Shelby, mm-hmm. not to you know, spoil alert. Shelby, Shelby dies. Dead. Right, but, <laughs> but it's it's the friendship of women, mm-hmm. and it's based in a beauty shop. Yes, uh, uh, I I predict this one will uh, do very. I, all of the, don't get me wrong, all of these are going to do very well. Um, now for our redheaded stepchild. <laughs> No matter how many times people guessed on that fun little update where you posted the hints yesterday, nobody could come close to guessing <laughs> guessing this one. Because it's 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 a new one. It's it's like a it's like your toddler. And in the when you look at all the other ones, they're all old school. Uh-huh. This is much more recent, and we've only done it one time, and it was two thousand. I want to say thirteen, somewhere around there. Somewhere in there. Yeah. I I, I assistant directed it with you, and I can't remember, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you're particularly proud of this uh, this show because uh, it is one that is kind of like, huh, that got in there, huh? Um, <laughs> what's very funny, what's very, well, scary, funny, whatever you want to call it, is um, we went back and forth on these. Like, as the voting came in, Teresa would go, hey, this is doing better than this. And Foreigner was a dark horse. It came in at the end and, and beat everybody out in, mm. in its category. But this one that we're getting ready to announce now was from the get-go. <laughs> the front runner i think it beat every other show even if you put them all in this you know all together mm-hmm. i think this one beat everything out our first four shows are very well-known community <laughs> theater shows this last one is not but it should be because it's very funny i think it's very well known amongst our membership um, our membership <laughs> yeah. but in ge- i'm talking in general terms here okay and let's finally say the name because everybody's yelling at whatever device they're listening so just say the name it's sex please we're 60 <laughs> But J- Jones Hope Wooten. No, it's not Jones Hope. It's Wooten. Michael Parker. Michael Parker. He yes, Michael Parker. Uh, also the scribe of the Amorous Ambassador. Yes. Uh, so it that is about a two men who accidentally ingest this type of magic pills that turns them into women, kinda. It's um, is there's a woman who runs a bed and breakfast, and she has a neighbor next door who calls himself Bud the Stud, who thinks he's quite the ladies' man. And on the other side, she's got a gentleman who was, is a retired chemist who wants to marry her, and she keeps putting him off. So he invites a friend to help him test a pill that he has created to increase the libido of female men, menopausal females. Mm-hmm. And then so she comes to stay, and then two other people, regulars, come to stay at the bed and breakfast, and Bud hits on all of them, and then they all find out Bud hits on all of them. Mm-hmm. So they swipe his... They uh, trade his Viagra for the the little blue pills Henry makes. And it turns out the side effects for this pill is it gives men female menopausal symptoms. Gotcha. (laughs) Um, This was a laugh riot when it it debuted here 10 10 or so years ago. And now it's back. It is going to go up. May 23rd, May 24th, May 25th, May 30th, and May 31st. Those are the five shows. Read them and weep. They're done. We uh, we thank you to the membership that voted. That was a very smooth process. That I I think we all agree that that was a little bit smoother than we thought was going to happen. It, it went better than we thought. I think. Yes. So there was there was five clear winners, and these are it. So Wizard of Oz, Arsenic and Old Lace, The Foreigner, Steel Magnolias, and Six Please. We're 60. So please think about us when you are getting your membership dues ready next year because we have an excellent season for you and we plan to make it worth your money. Uh, We're looking to do some special things. I know we've got a special committee with the board that are looking into 
how to make it even, you know, bigger, special, more special, what kind of events we can do, what kind of whatever. And then again, we do have the merchandise that has our 50th anniversary logo on it and our, our NLT logo. Um, we've got glasses, we've got mugs, we've got pens, we've we got everything. So mm. <laughs> just ask and we'll find something for you. Everything so. for your new little theater needs. Everything for your new little theater accoutrement we have. So please, please come by and buy some stuff. It would make Mita uh, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> it would make Terry very happy. Yeah, that too. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for joining us for this extra short episode. That is our season. We are going to be back uh, probably in April with our episode with the cast of Unnecessary Farce. So we look forward to that. And for News Little Podcast, I am Matt Gore, and that's my producer, Mita, and president. Well done, Madam President, thank on this you. season. Well done. So we will see you next time on the show. Thank you. Bye. Credits for the show. Your host and creator is Matt Gore. That's me. My producer and editor is Mita Tool. That's me. Music is by Cody Walker. Uh, please go look up Cody on uh, Cody Walker Music on YouTube. And he's also on Cody Walker Music on Facebook as well. He's local, so uh, and he's got a couple of albums out. You know, uh, easy listening, John, Vin- John Denver type of uh, guitar voice, that Cody Walker. All right. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>